Section 8.3 is on dot products and vector projections. Okay, so a dot product of vectors in a plane, it produces a scalar. Okay, so given vector A, which is A sub 1, A sub 2, and vector B, which is B sub 1, B sub 2, in order to find the dot product, which this is read A dot B, you multiply your x's, you multiply your y's, and then you add them. And that'll give you a scalar. That'll give you a single number. Okay. So what does the dot product mean? Like, what does it help us do? Okay. Orthogonal vectors have a dot product of zero. So if you find the dot product and the dot product equals zero, the two vectors are orthogonal. So if a dot b is zero, then a and b are orthogonal. So why the new word orthogonal? Orthogonal for the for most practical purposes means perpendicular, except there's one situation where that's not true. Okay, that's when either a or b are a zero vector. Okay, if a or b is a zero vector, we can't use the word perpendicular because the zero vector doesn't have magnitude or direction, okay? So if I take the zero vector and I do the dot product with the zero vector in any other vector, I'm going to get zero as my dot product, which means it is orthogonal. But it's not gonna be perpendicular because the zero vector has no magnitude, no direction, and can't be perpendicular, okay? So, for the homework, they're gonna give you some vectors and they're gonna say find u dot v and then are they orthogonal? And by definition, if my dot product is zero, they're orthogonal. It's a yes or no kind of a question, okay? So to find my dot product of u dot v, I take three times negative four plus six times two. So I get negative 12 plus 12, which is zero. So are they orthogonal? Yes. Okay. U dot V, I'm gonna do two times eight plus five times four. So I'd have 16 plus 20, which is 36. My dot product is not zero, so they are not orthogonal.